again, I'm Claudia. It looks like the economy is on the road to recovery. FedEx Corp has raised its expected earnings. Recently, FedEx shares rose 6.4%, and Chief Financial Officer Alan B. Graff says that the company plans to see a modest recovery. While the expected earnings are still lower than what FedEx could have predicted more than a year ago, they are still higher than previously expected earlier this summer. A competitive pricing environment and lower fuel costs are also big factors in the encouraging signs of improvement. And I'm sure FedEx is hoping to keep heading down this path. David Rosenberg parted ways with Merrill Lynch this past May, but he maintains his keen sense of the economy and the country's budget. Now that he has begun a new career as a chief economist and strategist at a branch in Toronto, he often compares and contrasts the two countries to see where possible improvements can be made. Noting that Canadian banks never experienced defaults in the way American banks did, Rosenberg believes part of that is because the Canadian economy and stock market are exposed to a greater portion of the commodity sector. Rosenberg also believes that America has hit rock bottom in the profit cycle. But with continued aggressive cost cutting, corporate profits will start heading toward the right direction. And that's toward more money. A group of banks is also headed in the direction of money. And they did it without any help from Uncle Sam. There are at least 54 publicly traded banks that did not stick their hand in the federal bailout cookie jar. Those banks include Hudson City Bank Corp, New York Community Bank Corp, and BOK Financial, just to name a few. The most interesting part about this is that the majority of these non-rescued banks are faring better than the rescued ones. On average, they are down 16% compared to the TARP participants who are down about 30%. This just goes to show that banks can be pulled back from the brink of extinction. But success in a down economy includes more than just free money. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Claudia, and this is Market News.